What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I have found probably what's going to be my new holy grail favorite product. I have been obsessed with the Revlon Candid line. I have the concealers, I have the foundations, and I had heard that they came out with a new little formula to kind of rival the original, and it is called the Candid Glow. Now, What's really weird is that the shade range wasn't the same as the original Candid line. There was less shades in the glow range. Kind of, to me, seems like the colors can kind of fit multiple skin tones, but we're gonna see, because I have shade 240 right here, and my other favorite shade is 360. So it's gonna be a little bit different in color, but I'm gonna do like half versus half to kind of like see the difference. So we'll start with like a pump. Uh, oh, this is pale. This is pale. But like, why does it match my skin so good? Now, this also says that it's a moisture glow anti-pollution foundation. Light buildable coverage foundation with prickly pear oil, antioxidants, anti-pollutants, uh, ingredients that help block blue light without phthalates, fragrances, or synthetic dyes. Now, the other one, I think it says medium coverage. Yeah, medium buildable. So uh, this is definitely like that model skin illusion. Like it almost literally doesn't look like I'm wearing any foundation, like one side to the other. This is the side with foundation. Now I'm gonna use the other <laughs> candid on the other side. Now this one is probably gonna be a different kind of color because the shades, like I said, weren't the same. And I can already tell that the coverage level is way like, different with this one. But honestly, like, not that crazy of a color difference. This one's a little bit more yellow. And I normally don't even apply product this way anymore, like doing like a full foundation, like spackle, but I just really wanted to give it a good go. And like, I was fully prepared to look like an oil slick and that's not really happening. Regular Revlon Candid side, cute, love her. And then the Revlon Candid Glow. So I'm gonna pop on some of the Candid Concealer in the shade 005. So with the concealer on, I still really like it. Now just to kind of complete everything, I'm gonna use the Revlon Candid in 007. I'm just gonna give her a little, a little stamp and blend. So this is kind of just like the finished product. So I will say that I do notice the glow on this side on the cheek. I'm definitely seeing it. It looks really juicy without any highlight on. And I really do like the way that it makes my skin look. I really like it. Is it crazy, revolutionary, different from the other side? Not really, because I'm still seeing a subtle glow. This is just kind of like a pat on and go. Personally, I think it will replace the Candid for me just because I do love a glow and I feel like this is just gonna look juicy on the skin. I am gonna play with it more before I really give that verdict. It's really gonna come down to how it wears and I'm gonna be doing check-ins, so just stay tuned for that. I'll see you in a little bit. So we're gonna do a full new face. I feel like in the other video that I was filming, it kind of came off as like, mm. what I did notice is that it did provide more of a glow and it is a lighter coverage. But I'm actually gonna prime the face today. We are gonna do check-ins for real this time, I promise. And then what will be cool is that I'm gonna go to work and you can follow me on social media and kind of see the progression of it, see if anything is changing what's going on, you know, stuff like that. But I'm gonna prime my under eyes with the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright and I'm taking the double cream as well because I really just want this skin to have like a lot of hydration. Now I'm actually gonna put some on a small stipple brush. I'm just dotting it along the face. And whenever I do go to work, I like to wear the Candid Concealer. So now I'm gonna blend out the darker color just with the same brush to where it doesn't really take over the look. I just want it to be like a nice little bronzy flush. The light coverage is not a problem for me. I really enjoy seeing skin through. Now, like I said, we are gonna do some check-ins. So we're gonna keep you updated on how it wears, how it holds, every little detail throughout the day. All right, what is up? We are at the one hour mark for the check-ins. And so far, so great. Everything has been... So my 
audio is nowhere to be found for this part of the clip. But in this little update, I just wanted to show the dew and the juiciness, kind of, just in different lighting, different angles with the camera. What do we think? So this is gonna be my last check-in before work. I know that the other ones got messed up. I'm so sorry. This video is like going down the toilet, but I wanted to give my final thoughts. I wanted to let y'all in and see the skin up close and in some different lighting. It's playing really nice in my kind of forehead wrinkles. It's not bunching up in my nose area right here. And then like I said in my video, I have like this under eye little crease, but the skin, like that's the main focus and the skin is looking so good. It's looking really healthy and I am noticing that little bit of extra glow that just makes it look even more real. And I'm really living for the product. I think Revlon hit this one out of the park. I think they've been listening when people have been saying they want dewy. I think it's gonna replace the original Revlon Candid Foundation for me. Now Revlon, if you're watching, hi girl. Um, can y'all come out with a dewy concealer? Because that would be amazing. And I really like to see it. There will be some more check-ins on social media if you'd like to follow me after the video and kind of just see, you know, how it holds up through work. Now, as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a little like, comment, and subscribe down below before you go. And I will see you on the next one.